All right, guys, this is a quick video. Uh, posted this plane on uh, Facebook on uh, RC and foam planes and RC electric planes. And uh, a lot of people don't think that you can make a twin motor uh, pusher style on this V900. Uh, first of all, they're probably wondering why I didn't just leave the motor on the stock location. And here, as you can see, this whole nose was broken off. Not only was the nose broken off, but this plastic part that holds the engine mount was also broken off. So the front end just does not have the structural to hold that heavy motor and deal with the amount of torque and thrust that it has without tearing the front end off again. So instead of throwing this plane into the garbage, which I was originally gonna do, I glued the nose back on and uh, played around with different ideas of making a twin motor mount. And so far, this is one of the ideas I came with, is mounting twin motors onto a carbon spar. And uh, we are bracing it with this little uh, aluminum, bracing so we're bracing that spar from the front end so that when the motors pull uh, it doesn't flex I mean it probably will flex a little bit but hopefully the amount of thrust being generated is used to propel the plane uh, there is a 4s 3300 all the way to the nose and I did bust out some of that motor mount to try to slide the battery even more forward so we're going to continue uh, getting that squared away so we can get the battery all the way up to the front in the cell um, and then we will be able to balance this out but there it is we're not mounting it to the elevator surface um, I thought it looked cool it stirred up a bunch of panties but this is how we are mounting it on this carbon spar. I did order a 12 millimeter carbon spar that's a lot thicker that we could also drill through and mount if this is too thin. So this is actually a hunting uh, bow that we made it into a spar.